Welcome at this tutorial for Sharingan or real life anime eyes. I decided to make another version because the old one was in the old version of Blender and some people are complaining. So, when you open Blender, just hit the compositing workspace. I have deleted everything here. Make sure to tick the use notes thing and backdrop. Yeah, this has to be activated. Then add input image. This will be our video. And as output, we need to have composite, which is for rendering and viewer, which is for the view, the preview. Okay, now we open our... By the way, this is like in Adobe After Effects, but without, uh, instead of layers, we have this node-based system or graph. So, let's hit open. Let's open our... Uh, where, where do I have it? Uh, our video with the... With the Oh, there are some. I think it's the end of the world. There are some uh, police in front of my house. I don't know what they're doing there. Okay, so we have this open video. Now let's hit this match movie length thing. This will actually hit the frames, um, like the the length of the video that we have just imported. In the view, we can hit fit to see the whole video. Yeah, it's the viewer. If we disconnect it, it just disappears. So, uh, here, this is all in frames, so if you want to offset the video, I know that the good part is at 26 seconds and it's 25 frames per second, so 26 times 25. Here we have the video. So, first thing, uh, how to make the eye red? Masking. Let's create a mask. Uh, we can switch to the image editor. Now let's here we we want to see the viewer node. That's the same as the compositor, and here we switch to mask uh, and create a new mask. Now we need to choose which part of the image will be edited. Mask is just a selector, like part selecting part of the image that we want to change. Uh, when you hit control and click, you can create points like this uh, and create the uh, the shape you want to create. Now when hitting Alt and C, you can connect those points. Um, so now we need to enclose the eye. When, when I hit control again and um, hit the part of the mask, I can add new uh, points that are defining the shape of the mask. So, yeah, something like this. I, I will <clears throat> just show you the basics, so I won't like play too much with this. Yeah, I, I think this is pretty much enough for now. So, let's go back to Compositor. Now add input mask sorry, input mask. This will propagate the mask that we just created into our compositing workspace. Now, color mix. This is for uh, mixing, like uh, combining multiple images or new colors or something like that. There are blending modes that you know from other video editors. The mask will be put as a factor here, and now you can see what happened. The mask actually worked, and added, in the area of the mask, this white color appeared. Now, for one thing we can do, we can actually connect the same image here. So now the same image is placed over the original one. That's not doing anything, but we can use color. Uh, color balance, edit here, yeah, it connects automatically when you put it in the path, and now we, the part of the image that is masked or like put uh, over the original image, we can actually edit and change the colors, and something is happening. Yeah, you can see that like this, we can actually change the color of the of the pupil of of the eye, yeah. Uh, now you can see that this is quite 
a sharp edge. So let's blur the mask. And by the way, the mask, if you just take a look at it, it's this. It's just black and white. You know, white means visible, black, invisible, like alpha channel. Yeah, so so we just I will just show you what we're doing now. We can we can there are two ways to do this. We can use the mask feather when holding uh shift no sorry when holding alt and s you can add this feather but for some reason i i don't think it's that good because the quality of this feather might not be well for all the use cases so let's just add blur i don't know 50 maybe yeah and this is what happens now the mask will be smooth when we connect it here and view the result you can see that the edge is gone and it looks more natural so this is the first part red eye how do we do this uh, like tomoe or some symbol in the sharingan uh mask again let's create a mask uh another mask and here we go as i said i want to do the whole effect, I will just show you basics, the rest is up to you. So, I'm not sure, I'm, I'm really, this always takes me a lot of time to create. So, I've created a mask. Now, let, let's, just, let's just pretend that this is the more or less the shape of the Sharingan. Yeah, because this, this always takes a lot of time to tweak, to just catch the right shape. Uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe uh, something like this. Uh, yeah, this goes from someone who made so much showing on videos. I always struggle with that. <laughs> okay, I, let's, let's just let's just keep it like this. So, uh, switch back to compositor, and the same story again. Here, no, no, this will turn because we haven't set. By the way, the factor it means like how much the image is visible. So. Uh, you can affect it just as a constant value for the whole image or with a mask. So let's connect the mask. Let's add, make it black. And here we go. We have this sharing gun thing. So maybe better to put multiply blending mode. You can, you can play with the blending modes. There are very uh, many, many ways, like creating difficult, um, different effects if you put overlay maybe something oh this is it's not much visible but uh you just have to play with this a bit now let, let's just stick to multiply uh blur to you know when when things are too sharp they are looking like artificial like not real so let's blur it a bit i don't, I don't know how much so this might be good yeah and you can see we have the sharing gun so those are basics. Now, <clears throat> first thing, how to make, you know, the eye is moving. If I move the image, uh, you can see that the eye has moved, but not the layers, not, not, the, not, not the effects, because the mask is still like solid at one space. Uh, it's not moving. Here you can see that it's overflowing and uh, when I when I go back, you can see that this is still static while the yeah while the background is moving. So for that we have tracking. Again, go to um, movie clip editor. Now we have to open our uh, video. It's here. Tracking is um, for the purposes of actually. Uh, placing some effects in the 2D video, just like sticking to, for example, one object or, you know, to make the movement of the CGI effect correspond with the 2D video. So again, we have to put an offset to uh, actually be the same as in the, as in the compositor. And now tracking, we add a marker like here, marker. And now we have to choose some something that is not changing some some point in the image that is um, so it, it should be some kind of a corner or, or edge or something that is very distinct 
uh, compared to the background. So uh, th this this isn't very good the um, reflection because the reflection is not moving with the with the eye. If we choose like an eyebrow, this is not moving. This is moving in a different way than the than this part of the eye, because you know this is in a slightly different position. So let's choose for example I don't know. Maybe uh, I'm not sure which one I <laughs> I chose. Uh, maybe this. Yeah, this is this looks like a bit distinct. So now when we are, uh, sometimes you have to try multiple times. Maybe maybe maybe, this, maybe another one would be good. But let let's stick with this one. Now in the track you hit this, or you can go step by step, and you can see that the tracker is following the the pattern we have chosen. Here is the track, how it looks. So you have to choose something that is different from the background. Maybe this one would work. This one, I don't know. I've chosen this point here. So tracking is actually sometimes quite a pain. So you can take a look. The tracker is following the movement of the eye. Yeah. And with this, we will actually go back to compositor and just move the mask the way uh, the same way as the tracker so let's add um, distort translate yeah we'll control c control we will put both there uh, input track position this will put the tracker inside we choose the these things or then this is the in the image, the video we have tracked, and let's connect it to the um, to the translate. So, according to the position of this tracker, yeah, and relative start, this is quite helpful. So, according to this tracker, we I have showed you a moment ago, the position of masks that I used here will be transformed, translated, so it will be moving the same way as the point, as the tracker, as the marker that I showed you a moment ago in the other uh, workspace. So now when I click, for example, to frame number 10, you can see that everything will move with the eye. Yeah, not sure if, if it moved in the right way. But yeah, I guess it's more or less working here. Yeah, you can see that it's moving along with the eye. Uh, sometimes you have to animate the mask because the, the eyebrow or the eyelid might be moving. So you have to manually actually uh, change the mask. That's not, there's nothing to do, nothing to do with the tracking. So uh, let's just go like this. Uh, this is basic. Now, sometimes we want to create some cool animations, transitions, like I did in the previous, like real life Sharingan, real life anime eyes, the Sharingan edition revisited. You want to create some animations. So, there are many ways to do that. Again, go to the mask. And if you want to animate the mask, simple. Everything in Blender can be animated by using I. So when I choose hitting A, I choose. I don't. I don't have to do that. I just one point is enough, and hit I. Actually, a new keyframe will appear here. This is this point. Now let's go to ten, for example, and this is just you know. To show you. you can see here how the mask is moving because we are viewing the compositing result so the mask is still here the static but according to the tracker the effect had moved but it has nothing to do with the mask the mask is still static it's all in the compositor so when I, now i can do for example this i will change the mask now hit i again and here we have two keyframes. Now you can see that the mask is interpolating, is animating. And this is how you do animations. You just have to play with this, 
hitting a uh, i just animating it you can animate it frame by frame sometimes you can do a shortcut like it will uh, calculate or uh, estimate the right trajectory of all those mask points so this is how you animate the sharing gun yeah and i think that's more or less everything you need to know um then when you when you just render the animation everything will be rendered according to the path you specify here or the format um sometimes you might want to actually create the animation as a standalone thing uh, as i did and i uploaded that uh, on my channel because sometimes you can actually for example if you want this animation to rotate it's better to have it um, around the center of the screen and then you can rotate it simply by using um, distort and for example transform or rotate node which you can actually with this you can add rotation to the mask but it's always around the center of the screen or the image so sometimes it might be better to create uh, the mask not exactly according to the compositing result but as a for example we can create um, uh, a new, new mask let's, let's let's just go to mask create a new one uh, we can create a new image for example like this and actually create i'll just add quickly a circle we can add i don't know maybe some a circle like like here and if we use this mask number two it will be we can create the the effect like standalone like here without the actual view of this we can create it as a standalone animation and then import it to the compositing thing. Uh, as I said, it's because we can then rotate it you know, or translate it or whatever. Uh, if When it's moved like this, you can see that the original mask that I used and demonstrated the sharing gun effect is not right in the center or it's if you rotate it it will not rotate around the center of the of the eye but anyway this is just uh, like a tip for more advanced editing so yeah and that's pretty much it i'm not sure what else to say because i wanted to make this quick so this is just the basic workflow of creating sharing gun if you have any questions, if you want something more advanced, let me know. I'll make a part two or something. But this should be enough for you to create a cool looking sharing gun animation. And, you know, you can add some additional effects later. So I hope this helps. I hope this was quick and easy to understand. See you soon.